I told her I wasn't going to. I can't cry. It just doesn't happen. Jackson, seven years ago, I flirted with you as a joke, not realizing my life was about to change forever. That summer, you stole my heart and have kept it with you every day since. Meeting you was like a breath of fresh air I didn't know I needed. You've taught me more than I could have ever imagined over the years, and I can't wait to keep learning with you. You've taught me how to be resilient, cur courageous, strong, and calm. Through all of the difficult days, you have never left my side and have always been patient with me. You make sure to remind me that you're there to listen and to support me no matter what, but always give me my time to think before speaking. You tell me, as long as we're together, nothing else matters. I got you when I'm in a puddle of tears. Jackson, <laughs> you are the calm in the storm and the only person patient enough to deal with this yancy susky combination. You know how to make everything okay without even saying anything. You are there for anyone who needs you and you never turn your back to help others in needs. You are the kindest, calmest, smartest, weirdest, slightly funny person I've ever met. Most importantly, you're my best friend. My soulmate, my travel companion, the dad to our dogs, and now my husband. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. For the rest of our lives, I promise to always eat the Oreo chunks out of your ice cream when you're not home and act like I didn't. I promise to always buy you a little treat when I drag you to the store. I promise to always go to sporting events with you, even, and in return, we listen to Taylor Swift on the car right there. I promise to let you think the dogs love you more, but we both know that that's not true. I promise to stand by your side on the good days and the hard days. I promise to always tell you what's on my mind, because as you like to remind me, you know when something is wrong, even when I don't want to admit it. I promise to always date you and love you with every ounce of my being like I have since we were 17. I choose you every day, and I promise that in this lifetime and in the next, I will choose you over and over again, and that's you. Elizabeth, I can't imagine creating this experience of a day without you. They say marriage, marriage is about starting a new life together, but the truth is, a life together is all we know. After seven years together, we've already been there for each other through all of our lives. Life achievements like graduating high school and college, beginning our careers. We've even already bought our first house together. We've already started life together. Instead, today for me is about continuing our story. Today we begin the phase of life where we get to enjoy all that we've started together. With you by my side, I am ready for life of adventure, happiness, love, and continued growth for both of us. 
Elizabeth, I stand here with you today, ready to spend the rest of my life with you. While I can't promise you a perfect life, I can promise to give you my best every day. I promise to always be your best friend, the person you can complain about work to, and the person to always cheer you up when you're down. I promise to always take you on new adventures and try new things. I promise to always take you to the Red Wings games and especially promise to buy you your almonds when, we when I drag you to the Tigers games. And most importantly, even if all we had was paper rings, I promise to always love you.
By the powers vested in me, by the state of Michigan and the Universal Life Church, I pronounce you, Jackson, and Elizabeth, husband and wife, lawfully wedded today between your, in front of your friends and family. Jackson, sir, you may kiss the bride. 